Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a good thumbnail for your video. So I already have a background image here, and what we're going to do is instead of just leaving it there, we're going to enlarge. And so what we're going to do is that now we're going to get the text and we're going to add some text. And so the first piece of text we're going to add is over here. I'm going to type, if he dies, the video ends. And that's pretty good. Except if we click on this again, choose 2D text, and we add something else right here, we can do a pyre pretend. And now that these two pieces of text are just chilling in the video, we can go over to brushes, or even better, 2D shapes. And what we can do is that we can get an approximate sized arrow. Like, I would say about that size. We don't want it to be too thick and we don't want it to be too thin. And so what I'm going to do is make it not, is put on a 90 degree angle. So it's straight for all you perfectionists out there. And so a pyro the tent with an arrow clearly pointing to it, and now basically I have a thumbnail. Now there's a couple tips I have. One, don't make it too obnoxious. Like, if it's too obnoxious and clickbaity, then that's not good. Because then people will go like, oh, look, it's another clickbait YouTuber, and not click on your video. Um, another thing that I don't r recommend is, like, <laughs> choosing one of the frames from the video as a thumbnail, because that's not good. Unless one of the f frames is, like, a p is, like, th is the whole story. then that might be okay but you might want to screenshot but you might want to screenshot that make it just make it really big and then just add it into here and add your own quirk in into here but I don't have a but I don't think they're the frame of a pyre the tense dying so I'm just going to so I'm just going to take a backup world from before a pyre died because that's where I loaded because that's where I loaded this world and I'm just gonna and I just threw it on there and and so I just took a pyre I dropped him on one of the Canadian islands I I took a screenshot of him when, once he was looking out on the once he once I got a good shot of him and then I just and and then i pasted it into here and also you don't want it to look too stupid because if it's like a square it's going to be really st stretched and that's not going to be great because you don't want to stretch the thumbnail it, it makes it look sloppy and uh, it makes it look very sloppy and i didn't really like it so i just got a pretty good aspect so i got a pretty good ratio it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but it just has to be there. And in fact, something that I could even do better is that I could remove the white lines on both of the sides. And so that's one thing that I could do. Um, so you could add text as being really basic. Um, if it was a Minecraft video and you made it to a Nether fortress, then you take a picture of a then you take a picture of a Nether fortress, 
and then you po have an arrow pointing to it, and you say, like, found? Or something like that. Just not really obnoxious. Don't put any punctuation, because that makes it look weird. Like, if you put an exclamation mark, it's like, it's going to get, it's, you're, it's basically telling people that you're gonna scream in their face, and if there, if there's an exclamation, and if there's a question mark, then people won't click on it because they think that it's probably gonna be clickbait, and I don't know why you would put a period in there. I really don't, unless you're like a grammar queen or something. But that just shows that pe that you are watching a grammar queen and not something else. Now, something that I recommend is... Now, there's three levels of thumbnails. One of them is an actual frame on the video. Like, that's the first level. It's the best kind of thumbnail because it's something that's actually going to be in the video. Maybe. Um, the second kind of thumbnail is the one like this where it's not a frame in the video but it's also not completely lying to you and then the third kind of thumbnail is a completely clickbait thumbnail it's not even good don't use that one unless you want people to get annoyed at you because a clickbait thumbnail that's basically just telling people hey i think hey i think that you should watch this video like if i were to like a lot of YouTubers that played that truck jumping game, uh, Cluster Truck, I think it's called, with those lists, a lot of, of them do that. So, level two and one, so level two is the best, level one is probably pretty high up there. Don't do level, don't do the third level, it's not recommended. People will get annoyed at you, but you will get more views if you use level three, so it's kind of... Um, sometimes you go for the bird in the bush instead of the bird in front of you. Um. This is, I think this is a pretty good thumbnail. I'm just going, and the way you add it is that, um, you go to menu and you do save as. And then you're going to uh, copy it as an image. And so we're going to do it. World box thumbnail. And so now I'm going to teach you how to, how to upload a thumbnail. So, oh. Wrong thing. So here we have our actual thing, and so we're going to click on upload a thumbnail. And then here are all of the. Things, and we're just going to copy that in. Double click it, and that'll appear. And so that's how you make a thumbnail, or a good one at least. So um, I hope you have a good day, and 